healthcare is clearly an area where uh, if we look at it from a problem perspective the problems are very large uh, right uh, the metrics are not very encouraging in many areas the uh, averages that we have in terms of per capita health metrics for number of beds per uh, thousand people or number of physicians uh, some of the national averages are one tenth of the global requirements We do believe that tech-enabled innovations can play a big role because uh, addition of capacity is neither feasible, uh, it will never be adequate um, and we will never be able to fix it. But that being on one side, if you look at the entrepreneurial interest and the uh, investor interest, it is clearly lagging. Right? So the problems are large. Areas like healthcare, there is no common understanding of the big problem. Right? That's number one. Number two, uh, there aren't enough experiments going on about solving each of these problems, okay. right? Uh, that is again in stark contrast when you look at, uh, you know, you can easily list down 50 startups, uh, right, going after hyper-local e-commerce, okay. but you don't have 50 uh, startups trying to solve diabetes as a problem, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that is the uh, second one. Third, uh, the kind of people required, mm -hmm. uh, the kind of expertise required, mm -hmm to crack innovations or bring innovations to the market in healthcare requires a diverse set of people. What it do you mean by diversity? So uh, you will need uh, people uh, who are scientists who will have a certain innovation that they will have to uh, bring out to the market. You need these innovations to come from physicians who see patients in and out. Uh, you need to see these innovations come from uh, people who can build products or medical devices that requires a completely different uh, expertise. Uh, you need innovations from biochemical engineers, people uh, who understand and, and you need possibly innovations from even behavioral psychologists, right? Because finally in healthcare it's all about changing behavior and how well you can prevent something from happening. So the, the diversity required for us to increase the number of experiments, right? The, the areas from where entrepreneurs need to come is very different from some of the other areas where you can have a large homogeneous set of people coming together to solve problems. There is a huge gap between the first round of funding, which is typically in the form of a DBT grant, uh, right, up to 50 lakhs. And the next time uh, there is a funding raise or a, a funding conversation by the entrepreneur. And that typically is anywhere between 3 and 5 crore. And the, there is no depth uh, to the uh, investment availability of investors, especially in areas like healthcare. And that's a problem. One of the small experiments that we are running uh, is a program called uh, Heliate. It's a directed innovation challenge. Uh, the primary objective is to increase the number of experiments and this time we have uh, selected diabetes. Um, uh, again, it is designed in a manner uh, that takes care of some of the existing challenges and tries to solve them. So it's a, it's a, it's a competition uh, that gives a 2 lakh uh, prize money uh, uh, to companies that are set up. You know, to me, I think uh, Startup India, Make in India, Digital India, they're all very good things. But we just need to make sure that we interpret them properly. Already the startup policy in place, now it has to be implemented. I requested the Chief Secretary, he had to take one or two meetings. It will be driven by the industry.